I'm so vainy. I have drawn my own blood in the past. Also, I'll be using this beautiful vase because I went foraging in the woods, picked a giant mushroom the other day, and then decided not to eat it because I have no experience in foraging for mushrooms and they can kill you. But I got these really cool red things that also look poisonous, but I'm gonna be using this cool little vase to hold you guys up. We are in my kitchen and I know it's been a very long time, but I needed to catch up with you guys. It seems that there's been so much going on in the world, not only with COVID and the whole Blue Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, all these movements that are going on, but there's a movement that caught my attention. And since I'm feeling a little bit better, thank you guys, first of all, for all the well wishes. My neck from the car accident feels a lot better. I'm still not really running or doing any cardio that will put pressure on my neck, but I feel better. So I figured, hey, let's talk about health at every size movement that seems to have exploded on TikTok because I'm still trying to do a lot of catching up on social media. I haven't really been on TikTok until now because somebody asked me to to explain my opinion on what I thought about the health that I resize movement and because it's gotten so massive, 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 I did not know how big on TikTok it's imperative we talk about it. So health at every size movement is these big people, okay? Big people, small people, all types of people, but for the majority it seems that the fat movement took over the fat privilege movement has taken over this movement health at every size movement is kind of just engulfing it and what you see on tiktok at least what i've seen today my only time really being on here is a lot of overweight or severely obese people morbidly obese people doing these dances and saying they're happy to be overweight and that you should join us and be part of us and love your body even if you're mor morbidly obese. Now, this is very problematic. So if I'm staring off into the distance, it's because I have my laptop here and I'm gonna be reacting to, to one of the videos here. So, never seen this chick before, never been on here before, First thing I see is a very large female, overweight for sure, probably bordering on the obese. And in the comment it says, your concern isn't for health, your comments are about appearance. Health has no size. Now this is complete and utterly insane to say that health has no size. Now I'm gonna click on it and watch it here. So it's girl doing squats. I'm gonna play it. Okay. She's doing all these movements, right? She's she's squatting up and down, doing these silly exercises with a band that really don't do much for your health, for your size. All these comments that people have made about her that say, stop promoting obesity, your BMI is unhealthy. Uh, comments that say, have you heard of the gym? Maybe you should swim a few laps, go see a doctor. Uh, your body is not healthy with that excess fat. Okay, now I'm gonna pause this. Why are people still talking about this in 2020 she put on here i actually love working out i'm healthier now than when i was 50 pounds lighter by karen hashtag normalize normal bodies now just because a body is currently normal to today's standards which is overweight or obese as she is here casey lee walker does not mean that it's healthy. Just because something is normal does not mean it's healthy. This girl is severely overweight. She's doing all this working out and bravo. 
Bravo Casey Lee Walker for doing your workout. I'm glad that you're promoting fitness because it is good for you. But at the end of the day, if you're not eating a healthy diet and you are overweight as you are, carrying that excess fat has been shown repeatedly over and over again to not be healthy. So why are you promoting this to young girls, young people in social media saying that you were healthier when you were 50 pounds lighter. Now, I'm not sure how much you weigh now, but I'm going to say that when you're 50 pounds lighter, you were probably at a normal BMI. That being said, no extreme is healthy. So if you are underweight, severely underweight, overweight, severely overweight, that is not healthy. That is not what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that you should lose 100 pounds and be underweight and be anorexic and be unhealthy. I'm saying that when you post things like this on social media, what you're promoting is you're promoting overweight bodies and overweight bodies have been shown to be unhealthy, especially when they're severely overweight, such as yours. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't love yourself, but to me and to anyone who actually loves themselves, you would be doing the opposite. You would be eating healthy foods, taking care of your body, because if you continue down this path, this will catch up to you eventually. Now, because you're still somewhat young, I'm gonna say maybe 20s or 30s, you can get away with this. You might feel fine, but as I see you doing your exercises with these bands and jumping up and down on TikTok, promoting being overweight, it is not a positive movement, okay? You wanna promote health and you wanna promote a healthy diet, one that keeps your bones healthy, keeps you at a good weight so that you're not putting all these extra stresses on your joints, on your knees, on your cartilage, because that will eventually take a toll. Guys, I work in a medical setting. I see this all the time. People, when they're young, you know, we can get away with so much, but with age, and I feel it myself now that I'm getting older, little things, even as not sleeping my full eight hours, sometimes eight, nine hours, the next day I will feel it. Now imagine eating crap on a daily basis, being overweight, being obese, eating foods that are not healthy. Do you think that's actually healthy? No, it is not. So people have asked me if I'm gonna be on TikTok. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't really been on TikTok until now. And the more I scroll through it, watching similar videos and looking at the stupidity that most people are promoting on TikTok makes me not want to go on it. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, Casey Lee Walker, I'm sure she's great. She has 18.2K likes and 195 comments in that little video she posted. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I don't know her personally. I'm sure she's a great person. I have people in my family that are overweight, that are unhealthy. Just because somebody's obese doesn't make them a bad person. Just because someone's not healthy doesn't make them a bad person. But when you promote this stuff on social media and say that you can be healthy at every size, which is a complete myth, because being overweight, being obese, has already been linked to heart disease, diabetes, uh, cancer even. It's not gonna help anybody promote this. You wanna promote health, you wanna promote truth. I'm not here to tell you what you wanna hear. If you wanna hear what you wanna hear and, and you want people to tell you that, yay, good for you, good for you doing some jumping jacks and being severely overweight and putting all that extra stress on your joints, then go to TikTok. Well, you're, you will get all of that, you will get that lip service that you want. From me, you're gonna get pure, blunt honesty. Some people love it, some people hate it. Most people, I think, hate it because most people don't wanna be told the truth. Most people want to be told what they wanna hear. So keep that in mind, guys. At the end of the day, be honest with yourself, be honest with those people around you because saying that you're okay being obese isn't gonna help you get healthier. You need to, be aware, be truthful, be honest with yourself, know where you're currently at, do something about that, act, eat healthier, go on a plant-based vegan diet where you're eating lots of fruits, veg, potatoes, rice, lemonade, pineapples, delicious stuff. Get healthy, 
get that extra obesity off of your joints and you will thank me later. Even if it hurts in the moment, because it might not make you feel good, you will thank me later. So I will see you guys in the comments. Take care. And it was, it's definitely nice to be back. Mm.